But tonight, the Minister of Trade and Industry, Dr. Kospio Gabra, says the government has no plans to take over the cashew business from local buyers and processors. He insists, however, that the ban on the export of raw cashew announced by his ministry is still in force. Interacting with cashew farmers and buyers at a meeting in Wenchi during his three-day working visit to the Bunahafu region, Dr. Ekospio Gabra noted that the local cashew industry is not flourishing because the crop has no standardized price in the country. Dr. Ekospio Gabra emphasized the need to support cashew growers and processors to enhance Ghana's foreign exchange earnings. No, Yazisha Bax will now okay weighing. It to be produced by 60 to 65,000. Ghana produces about 65,000 metric tons of cashew nuts each year. There is the need to add value to the raw nuts in order to get more foreign exchange. The president of the Cooperative Cashew Farmers Association of Ghana, Anthony Edu, said local growers lack capital to expand their business. This has resulted in low cashew production. Currently, with a ban without proper consultation, they started from the 31st March to ending of April. Meanwhile, you've started advancing from November, December, and January for traders. With this situation you have to rent additional warehouses all this cost is going to affect the farmer meanwhile the largest cashew processing company in the Bunuaf region with a capacity to process 1500 metric tons of raw cashew per annum has been shut down director of the company Kwabna Taylor made this known when he conducted the Minister of Trade and Industry Dr. Ekospi Gabra round a one-time vibrant cashew processing company Almost all the cashew processing companies in the country have shut down. Challenges such as lack of raw nut supply and high utility costs have been cited as reasons for the problem. Out of the 12 processing companies in the country, only the MIM Cashew Nuts Limited remains in operation. Kona Agro Processing Company at Ewisa near Winchi is one of the companies that has suspended operations. Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Ekospio Gabra visited the processing factory to round off his three-day working visit to the Bunahafu region. The minister said the government has put in place interventions to improve and make the local cashew industry attractive. The farmers need a guaranteed minimum price below which they, they, they believe the, pro the processors will not put pressure on them to buy at a lower price too low than what the exporters currently are offering. Currently, the price is in the four CD range, and most growers feel that if four CDs can be paid per kilo, that's a reasonable price. Most of the capital in this country, the banks are lending 90 days, 100 days. They want to do import and exports, ton and ton financing. <laughs> but if you're going to do medium term agricultural financing, that capital is not there. That's what the Agriculture Development Bank and the National Investment Bank were originally supposed to do. In your case, you may also have to look at additional equity partners as a way of getting uh, extra cash. The managing director of the company, Kwame Taylor, said all attempts to get credits have been unsuccessful. He said the company closed down in 2015 and laid off all its 250 employees, majority of them being young women. 